Hey, what is up guys? This is Rich. I'm going to be showing you exactly how I apply the topical finasteride and minoxidil solution. I know that you guys have been waiting a very long time for this, so here's the video. So first things first, I'm gonna go take a shower. Usually uh, when my hair is wet, I don't want to apply the minoxidil solution, uh, minoxidil finasteride solution. I want to let my hair completely dry and then I will begin applying it. Okay, so before we actually get into the application process, I just wanted to show you exactly where I'm going to be applying the solution. So here is the head shape right here. This black line that runs across is the original hairline that's right here. Um, usually this hairline develops when you're like about a teen and then it starts receding. So some, uh, some common uh, thinning and receding hairlines are kind of like this. You see this, uh, this red line right here. It's kind of like an M-shaped McDonald's sign. And then you also, crown, uh, you also thin out at the crown or the vertex area right there. So, we are, uh, so basically for me, I, I do have this M-shaped hairline and uh, I am going to be applying the solution and focus it primarily in this area right here. All of that. And, uh, and then that usually takes about half of a milliliter and I will be applying one whole milliliter. So the rest, uh, the other half I'm going to be applying throughout like uh, the, the rest of the scalp, especially in this area, but you know, just, just along there. So next I wanna show you exactly what I'm going to be using with this dropper slash stopper, whatever you wanna call it here. This is the um, dropper that comes with the minoxidil solutions. So uh, this is what I'm going to be using. Here's a bowl of water over here. I'm going to be drawing up one milliliter um, exactly to the line. And what uh, co common to what most people do is that they, they'll actually be squeezing the stopper. And that obviously, uh, that, that obviously saturates the area. But look how much I have left. That is, uh, that, that is not a lot. That is about the size of one, that is one side of my temple. I, I have two temples and that took, that just took up about half of a milliliter of water to, um, saturate. So now we are going to be taking the stopper, uh, the dropper, and we're going to be filling it up with one milliliter of water, just like so just like that. And now I'm not going to be applying any pressure and we're just going to be tapping the toilet, uh, the, uh, the, the paper towel, just like that. And as you can tell, it already created a dot like that. Okay. So that's all you're doing is just tapping. So over here we have, we have the other circle and we're, it's the same exact size as the other one. And we're going to be doing the same thing. We're just going to be tapping just like this. Just like so. And look, we still have seven eighths of the milliliter still in this uh, tube and I can show you all that. So that is exactly how you're going to be saving the minoxidil and making sure that you have enough coverage, even if it's just one milliliter for the entire scalp. Okay, so it's very important that we only have one milliliter of finasteride minoxidil solution. So we want to be very efficient when we're applying it to the scalp. So here's a, a, a little diagram very simple of exactly where the finasteride and minoxidil needs to get to in order for it to work properly. So here's the, uh, this horizontal line right here is the skin, vertical lines, the hair, uh, the minoxidil and the finasteride needs to get to the scalp or the skin level in order for it to be effective. So we don't, if the finasteride gets uh, to the hair level, it won't be able to do anything. So it's basically just wasted finasteride minoxidil up here, we need to get it to the skin. So when we are applying the finasteride minoxidil solution, we want to be rapidly tapping and keeping the dropper low and close to the skin, just like this. You don't want to be um, pulling the dropper 
in and out so far like this because um, the hair will actually absorb some uh, right there. Uh, you want it to be nice and close. Okay, so I just finished the shower. My hair is completely dry now. I'm going to be beginning the application process. All right, guys, so first I'm going to shake the bottle of topical finasteride and minoxidil solution like this. I'm gonna draw up exactly one milliliter, just right there. That's good, just like that. And I'm not gonna apply any pressure to this stopper right here. I'm just going to be tapping my forehead and letting my skin take the topical finasteride and minoxidil. Okay, so I'm gonna lift up my hair like this and I'm just going to tap the affected area repeatedly. Just like that. I'm gonna go along the side of my head too. And I'm also going to pat it in like this making sure that the liquid is really getting down to the skin level. Same thing on this side as well. Just tap multiple times, not squeezing the stopper or the pipette, whatever you want to call it, and going down the sides as well. Just like that. And I am Patting it down to the skin, just like this, and then, so, I still have half a, half a milliliter, I'm sorry, uh, I, it, was, it was about to fall out of the stopper, so I just wanted to uh, pull out another half, and I'm going to be applying the, the rest of this half milliliter to the rest of my scalp as a prophylactic uh, preventative measure rather than a regrown measure. So then at the, at the hair level, I'm not going to be lifting up any higher. I'm just going to be tapping all around, making sure that I still have some of the solution left in the stopper, just like this. I'm going to be tapping all around, not bringing the, uh, not bringing the stopper too high up. that and I am done now so now there's a bunch of these little droplets um, spread throughout the scalp and I'm just going to pat everything down just like this note how I'm using my hands just to like weave through the hair not just patting down like that or anything but I'm just using the fingers just so that the minoxidil is being worked into the scalp. Just like that. There you go. All right guys, that pretty much concludes this tutorial video. I hope you guys are appreciating the amount of work and information that I'm putting into these videos. I don't like to leave any stone unturned in terms of any questions um, that you guys may have. I really do try to make sure that I answer everything. So I have a couple more announcements to make. I did want to tell you guys that I am going to be creating different content other than just hair loss and hair regrowth um, up here. Um, I hope you guys stay tuned in for that and I hope you watch those videos as well. And the last thing I would ask of you guys is if any of you are tech savvy or graphic editing savvy, I do want to create an intro video <clears throat> um, that, that I would post on every single one of the videos that I put on this channel. I'm, I'm not too good with that kind of stuff. So if you guys could help out, you can always just contact me on Instagram. I'm going to leave that in the <clears throat> um, description below, or you can always just contact me on YouTube as well. So... Thanks again, guys. Have a good one.